a very early start this morning. Keegan has dropped me at the station because I'm filming with Leah. Um, so I'm on the train now, but it's very quiet, so I'm not going to vlog very much. I've just got some work to do. I'm working, I've got some brand work that's due in today, so I'm going to edit it now on the laptop. I'm just changing trains at Tamworth, and honestly, you have to go here, there and everywhere. There's like three different platforms on three different levels. The toilets were only on platform one, so I was on three, went to two, realised I had to go back to one, now I'm going back to three to go back to one. <sighs> Wrong platform again. I'm on platform four, you can't get to platform two from platform... Oh, guys, I can't cope. I also forgot to have a shave this morning for filming with Leah, which is very annoying. I feel like I look a bit of a mess. It's fine, it's fine. I've also realised that the work, I've done the branded work, is slightly incorrect and I don't know when I'm going to be able to refill. Guys, the coffee shop was shut. Today is not going to plan, um, but it's okay. I've decided I'm going to have a shave at Leah's if she will let me. <laughs> I'm going to have a coffee on. I'm going to get Leah to take me to a drive through coffee shop or something so I can get a coffee or she can make me one of her Nespresso. Um, everything's going to be fine. At least I managed to go to the loop. Um, but it is raining now, as you can see, I've got the brolly out. I tried to record some stuff in a quiet part of the platform and then I realised, Joel, you're at a train station, nothing is quiet. If it's not the trains, it's the rain on the umbrella. If it's not the rain on the umbrella, it's the announcements coming from like the speaker phones over there. So I think I'm just gonna have to send it to my manager tomorrow instead of today. Here we go. And then tomorrow I drive home to see my family, which will be really nice. Filming is done with Leah, it's 5.30. I've got my massive suitcase Ugh. on the way back to London Euston. I think it's only an hour and a half or something from here, so not too far, but then an hour once I'm in London. And then a sleep at home. I think lots of my birthday cards and presents are at home because they didn't arrive in time before I left for the weekend for my birthday. So I'll have some more birthday presents and cards to open. First thing in the morning, driving further south to see my parents. So. There's a lot to do. Right guys, I've arrived home. My suitcase is there. I've got a ton of packages there to open. I've just opened my fridge. I've got no food whatsoever. It's 8 p.m. Oh, that means Bake Off's on. Gonna have to catch up with that. Um, I've got no food in, so the only choice is to get a takeaway, which is not what I want because I want to be healthy. I haven't been to the gym for a few days. Yesterday I had a very big treat day. Obviously it's my birthday time. You know, it's two days after my birthday. So I've eaten quite a few birthday treats, but um, what else am I supposed to do? Like the shops are, sh are shutting, so I think I'm gonna get a takeaway. I'm gonna try and make it as healthy as possible. I actually am gonna get Domino's, and my favorite go-to is the Eat Alone, or uh, a one, what's it called? One person, it's the saddest name of a, of a food deal ever. It's like, you're lonely and you're one person, so buy this deal. It's a personal size pizza, so it's, it's quite small. If you get the Veggie Delight, then it's only under 550 calories. So it's 550 calories for the pizza, and then you get two sides. So I normally get potato wedges and a little garlic bread. All in all, I think it's like under 1500 calories, so it's not too bad. So I think I might try and do that. As you can see, I look like a mad professor. Oh, it's gone up. 15, it used to be 11.99, and you used to get two sides, and now you get one, but I suppose that's better for my waistline. Ooh, big brekkie. Delight veggie, I customize it because uh, it comes with reduced fat cheese. I'm getting rid of mushrooms, obviously, and I'm gonna add chicken. Well, the pizza is bread, so let me just get potato wedges. And then a drink, Diet Coke. Right, pizza has arrived, and I've just lit the first fire of autumn winter 2022. So I got this book ages ago. I can't even remember where I got it. It was probably a birthday present called Pup Cakes. And I was having a flick through at the different things I can make for my dog, and something really stood out, which was salivating sushi snacks. So I thought, why not make some dog sushi? Some douchey, let's do it. The things that you will need for this recipe, two carrots, 100 grams of lamb's heart or lamb's liver. Now guys, the last few weeks I've been trying to find lamb's heart or lamb's liver. I've been to many butchers and many different places and they've all said I've sold out. And I'm like, wait, how? Who's eating lamb's heart and lamb's liver? Like, why is it selling out? So instead, I'm actually gonna do it with tuna. You need three sheets of Japanese sushi nori, you need sticky rice, tomato puree, and you need a cucumber. So the first step, guys, is to cut the carrots lengthways into thin little strips. This is quite hard to do, so watch your fingers, because, you know, actually, Ava would love to eat a piece of my finger. She's such a carnivore, she'd probably really enjoy the meat of my fingers. 
I should not be trusted with knives. I still find it hard to believe that I'm actually an adult and that I have been allowed to go through life doing whatever the hell I want. I feel like I need to be under constant supervision. But hey, I've managed to cut these. Right, so now you've got your strips of carrot like this, you need to boil them. So whilst the sushi rice is absorbing lots of water, and I've washed it a few times, in the carrot goes. Right, it says boil for two minutes. That doesn't feel like long enough, but mm, I'm gonna do it a bit longer. Let's get these out, and they need to cool. Oops. Right, so the same thing needs to be done for the cucumber to cut lengthways into strips. I don't really know how much you need. It says a quarter of a cucumber. This is half. That can be for me. Mm. Years ago, I remember me and Leah going to do a sushi class and we filmed it on our channel. That was ages ago. And you know what? After that, I either got given or I went out and bought my own sushi mats. And I don't know where they are. I think they must still be at my parents' house. So annoyingly, this recipe does say to use sushi mats or greaseproof paper. So I'm gonna have to use greaseproof paper because I don't know where my sushi mats are. I love cucumber. I feel like it's so bougie to make sushi for a dog. Oh, I can hear her. Ava. I'm making you something, babe. I'm making you sushi. I'm making you douchey. Dog sushi. She literally has no idea what I'm doing. Would you like some cucumber? Mm-hmm. I love that I'm spending all this time, effort, energy, and money on making her dog sushi when I could just give her a cucumber, which take, would cost like 50p. But that's because we love our dogs. You know what? I've got a feeling I'm gonna mess this up because I haven't done this for a long time. You need to spread out half of this rice, it says. That's quite a lot. I don't know if I need all of that. Leaving a one centimeter gap at the top and bottom. So let's try that. Guys, this is the most effort I've ever put into making something for Ava. And she sat at my feet because I think she now somehow knows that this is for her. Don't know how dogs do it but they know they're psychic. Have I ever told you guys that I'm psychic as well? I can't control it yet, so if you were to ask me a question, I wouldn't be able to tell you the answer, but I've had a few experiences where I'm like, wow, I'm definitely psychic. You've got to spread the tomato puree along the rice in the middle like this. I think that's correct. Get some carrot, chuck that in the middle. I've definitely got way too much carrot. And some cucumber. Got some tuna. This should be lamb's heart and lamb's liver, but weirdly it's very popular at the moment. <laughs> is everyone making dog sushi? This is what I want to know. Why are the supermarkets running out of lamb's liver and lamb's heart? I think I've overfilled this. I could take some rice away if needed. I'm really sorry if there's like someone Japanese watching that is like you're crucifying this dish. But if I remember correctly, it's all got to go up and down there and then peel this back as I go. Okay, it's like a burrito. This is like the biggest sushi I've ever made. Right, let's have a look. Okay, not bad. It did say to wet, wet the nori, but because it's quite warm, it's holding its shape, guys. This isn't bad. Cut the sushi with a sharp, moistened knife. <gasps> that is incredible work, Joel. Look at that. I'm a genius. Ava, you've got a genius for a dad. Guys, I'm so impressed with myself. I honestly thought I was gonna fail. This is now making me think I should make sushi for myself for dinner. If I was serving this at a dinner party, I'd be a bit upset. But because this is for my dog, I really don't mind. Now, let me read you some facts, because I'm sure some of you are thinking, but Joel, is sushi safe for pets? Now, this says that nori seaweed is really rich in vitamins, including C and B12. Apparently the most important part in it is iodine, which is really important for regulating your dog's metabolism and energy levels, but it can be harmful in large quantities. So I'm gonna only feed Ava one of these or two of them a week, something like that. So this is not the sort of treat to give more than one a day. It's not the sort of treat to give them every day um, because of the seaweed. But yeah, Ava, you can make the most of having this today. Here we go. Sit. Have you ever had sushi before? No, I already know that because I feed you. Ah, off. There you go. Oh. Well, that was quick. Did you enjoy that, Ava? Did you enjoy that? 
success. I mean, that didn't last long. This literally took me hours to make and she ate it in about 3.6 seconds. You want more? Well, you can't have any more, darling. In fact, you can't have any more for a couple of days now and then I'll give you another one towards the end of the week. Sorry. So for anyone interested, this is the book. I've actually never made anything from this book before, so I can't tell you whether it's any good or not, apart from that sushi recipe, which was great. Turkey bake tempter, that sounds good. Ooh, we've got some desserts there. Magnificent muffins. We've got some jerky, some magic mutt balls. Marvelous mutt loaf. Pasta bark slice. <laughs> So this is actually gonna be part of a bigger vlog because I've now just filmed it and gone, actually, there was not much to say and it didn't take up a whole video. But let me know if you do think this would be a good series on my channel because I could try and make them a bit longer. But if not, I might just still make some of these and just put them in vlogs every month so you can decide to make them for your dog if you so wish. Hey everyone, it is a special day today, isn't it? Yeah. It's October 3rd. Oh, your tongue's cold. Are you cold? Um, stop it now. I know, it's Ava's birthday today. She's three years old today. Oh my gosh. So I celebrate two different birthdays for Ava. I celebrate her actual birthday, which is October 3rd. And then I celebrate December 9th, which I, I think I've got that right. I'll need to check my records. I'm pretty sure December 9th was when I picked Ava up. Um, so yeah, we've got, we've got our dog anniversary, haven't we? When we first met. On the well we actually first met on the 8th didn't we and then i picked her up on the 9th so the time has gone so quickly guys i remember it so vividly living in my old flat going to pick ava up me and lucy went to see her the day before there was two of them two puppies a boy and a girl the boy had already gone and been rehomed so it was just ava left on her own and i'm so grateful that nobody else picked you because i got you love her so much so she's already had a custard cream today if you don't know what custard cream is it's the best biscuit in the world or cookie as americans call it it's just so delicious so you had one didn't you yeah was it nice she's so sweet anyway i've just been working today it is currently half past two in the afternoon and i have been editing i've been sending some stats to my manager forwarding on some emails from brands that have somehow contacted me directly rather than to my email address with my manager. What else have I been doing? That's it really, it's just taken the full day. I have actually, even though I'm you know, in a tracksuit, I have actually had a shower. Um, and in the next 15 minutes, Keegan and I are gonna head to the gym and do a nice big workout. Um, I'm go we're going on holiday. This is a big family holiday. Me, my brothers, my parents, all of our partners are coming on a big holiday. Well, I say big holiday. We're going to Holland, which will be really fun. And that's on, that's later in October. So I've got about just under three weeks to try and, you know, be a bit healthy maybe trim down just a little bit. And actually before Christmas, I wanna trim down as much as possible. But I don't know about you guys, but I, every year it gets to about this time after my birthday, but before Christmas and I'm like, right, it's time to get healthy, get fit, lose a bit of weight, because I know come Christmas guys, or come December, I'm gonna start eating all the food, mince pies, chocolate, everything. So I'm like, okay, now is the time to do some prep work. <laughs> so yeah, let me know or send me a DM over on Instagram if you're doing the same thing, if you're on a little bit of a fitness health kick between now and Christmas because we can help each other. I've just uploaded a members only video. So I've got two videos going live today. I've got one going live to everyone. That's my Stitch Fix video. And then I've got a members only video which is going live. So I basically, with my members only videos, sometimes I have an idea or I wanna rant and talk to my members other times I go back through my phone because I film now quite a lot on my phone as well as on my camera Which I'm doing right now So I go through my memory cards on my camera go through my phone And I found a lot of old footage on my phone of stuff that I was gonna not post on my main channel for everyone to see But for my members so I found some of me Keegan and his kids going to do iFly which is indoor skydiving I found some footage of me going for a meeting with my acting agent and uh, a few different things So I've put that all together in a 15 minute vlog and so that is with my members right now and I mean it's not live yet but I will put some comments on screen I love showing you guys some comments it's a bit like a little shout out to some of my members and I, lo I love that you guys get excited by it as well the members that get their comments featured like oh my gosh you featured my comment so um yeah thank you so much for all of my members out there if you're not a member and you'd like to become a member try it it's 3.99 a month which is less than a coffee and it works out at a 
a, probably about a dollar per video. So it's, it's really not a lot and you can cancel at any time. You're not roped into anything. And the only reason I push it so hard is, firstly, yes, it does help support this channel financially. So it enables me to keep making videos, but also just because it's really fun. And um, some of the videos as well, deep down I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't post that to members. I wish I posted it to everyone because I really like that video. Other members videos, I'm like, absolutely, I'm not posting that for everyone. That's just an exclusive rant behind the scenes. <laughs> um, so it's a mix. Some videos are, yeah, but some of them I'm like, oh, this was a really, really good video. I wish everyone could see this. Um, but I'm like, no, my members come first. And if you can't become a member, totally understand. We're in a cost of living crisis. I get it. But that is why um, it's only three ninety nine a month because I don't want to make it inaccessible for anyone. That is my cheeky plug over. It's now time to get to the gym and move this body. Sorry, Ava. <laughs>